Here's something that should have come as no surprise to any Victorian or Australian. And that was Ian Cook's announcement on Monday that he would be entering politics. And he would do so by running as an independent in this year's Victorian state election, not aligned to any party or political machine, but solely aligned only to the cause of honesty, truth, justice, democracy, and most importantly, his community. And he would do so by contesting the seat of Mulgrave against Victoria Premier Dan Andrews. The man Cook considers is not only responsible for playing a key role in the destruction of his family business, I Cook Foods, but he is also the leader of the Labor Party that is constantly dogged by scandals, a series of IBAC investigations, and the revolving door of resignations of senior ministers. Now, Cook's foray into politics was an inevitability. Sludgate is now written into Victorian and political history. And just as Ian has stated, it's not so much that he chose politics, but it seems that politics has chosen Ian. And in many ways, Ian Cook's hand was forced by the ongoing corruption that has run rife throughout the Victorian government. Since 2019, Cook has been the man at the centre of a scandal which Hollywood would find hard to conjure up, involving a cast including Dan Andrews, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, Brett Sutton, and the merry band of men and women from the Department of Health, the City of Dandenong, and Victoria Police. For any rational person who has followed the disturbing events of I Cook Foods, and the lengths people went to to conspire and destroy a 40-year family-run business whose only crime was it was a world-class catering company developing revolutionary methods of preparing nutritious food for the elderly and aged care facilities, which became the thorn in the side of Andrews and Albanese's ambitions. And it stood in the way of a money-making scheme and agenda fomented by the Premier and the Prime Minister to establish a catering company known as Community Chef. I Cook Foods was Community Chef's stumbling block, the barrier between success and failure, and Community Chef's ability to act as a fundraising operation to actually support local government and state political campaigns. And for Community Chef to do what it was actually meant to do, I Cook Foods had to be out of the way. So when the opportunity to destroy it arose, they were prepared to do whatever it took and destroyed it was by a calculated devious scheme of manipulation, lies and corruption. It's impossible not to appreciate why politics is called on Ian Cook. Corruption, poor leadership, vested interest, abuse, lies, set up skullduggery and political fundraising fronts dressed up as legitimate businesses all for the manifestation of an outcome that would build Dan Andrews a power base. So powerful, it would be almost impenetrable. And here we are, two election terms in office, and if we we're to believe the latest polls, with a third now in the offing. And the scheme Andrews and Albanese and all who strategized it back in 2019 have seen the efforts of their dirty work bear fruit. Ian Cook's decision to run against Andrews didn't take long to not only put Labor and Labor on and Andrews on notice, but have Andrews' infamous hit squad on social media swinging to attack mode and commence denigrating Ian Cook. Whether they were bots or real Andrews supporters, the vile hate speech that was generated was not only disturbing, but fascinating. Andrews has created a well-oiled media machine that kicked into overdrive to attempt to try and kill off the wave of support iCook has. Now, if there were real people in the Twitterverse spewing out the vitriol and hatred that was exhibited, then Andrews and Labor have done an amazing job in brainwashing poor, impressionable minds who have shown they are incapable of independent or rational thought. The problem for Dan Andrews is no matter how much his well-oiled media machine kicks into action, the one thing they can't counter is how Victorians and Australians view the man, Ian Cook. Ian Cook is a hero of the people, the representation of good and decency, a man that has been wronged and is taking on the establishment 
to expose corruption in government. This is a narrative, and of course, Andrews and his team can't battle against and win. Speaking with Ian earlier, he has promised to offer Andrews the opportunity to attend every one of Ian's town halls or events in the lead up to the November election to rebut any of Ian's statements, should he wish. Does anyone really think that Andrews will front this or take up the opportunity? I doubt it. And Ian Cook is the people's hero who stands for everything they care about. So come November 26, the people of Mulgrove must get behind Ian Cook and do everything they can to unseat the Premier and vote Ian Cook in. Because this election is an election where Victorians and the people of Mulgrove will either vote for democracy and a candidate with a commitment and loyalty to the local community and personal integrity, or one whose lo loyalty lies with party politics and the retention of power for both personal and political gain. The choice is yours, Mulgrove.